Ladies and gentlemen, we're doing this Nico drama. Uh, I really like making fun of this man. Nux playing 4D chess with trending drama. It's what I do. It's the job. It's the job. So here's the situation. You have this guy, Sneeko. Biggest bozo on the internet. I have made plenty of fun of him over my days here. My favorite part where I made fun of Sneeko was when um, I, I took my dick out and, and put it right into his girlfriend's vagina. Sneeko found himself in some new drama, and we are going to be covering it in the most gloves-on fashion possible. I hate all this Sneeko drama where people cover it it like they're covering the facts. I don't care about the facts. I want to see you make fun of this pathetic beta male. <laughs> I don't like him. And he, honestly, he doesn't like me either. So that puts us at a moral equilibrium. This is hilarious what just happened. We know that Sneeko's a cuck. We know the man is has an IQ of six if he's rubbing his brain cells together. His synapses in his mind are a rave, okay? He just got so humiliated. We are all going to have so much fun with, with this situation. So today I'm going to talk about bullies. Sneeko tried to bully a nerd, but got yeah. absolutely destroyed. I love this story so much! Oh, oh, calm down, calm down, calm down. You not being made fun of on my stream is unacceptable! Now, if you're not familiar with Sneeko, he used to be a very interesting and smart creator on YouTube. <laughs> Sorry. Who made pretty thought-provoking content. But recently, he took a turn with this content, and now he's become one of the most insufferable people on the entire internet. If you yes, sir! Yes, sir! Guys, by the way, you should check out Pegasus. This is his second channel, More Pegasus. He's a friend of mine. He makes good stuff. I just wanted to mention that specifically. I'm sorry. I am edging so hard right now to the Sneeko beef. I love it so much. If you remember, the last time we talked about him was when- Which, which time was it? Was it when someone else slept with his girlfriend and he watched and he felt bad about it? Was it the time that he converted to Islam? But despite all becoming a Muslim, he uh, he still drinks and, and sleeps around and, and gambles and promotes all sort of haram degenerate shit. Was that the thing you talked about last time? Was it the time that you ins that he insulted Charlie for literally his own thing? Was it the time that he uh, he promoted and defended the literal child porn show cuties? Was was that the, the time the last time you made fun? I don't know. I don't know. When he was getting his ass handed to him by Moist Critical or Penguin Zero. All right, that was that was one of those those things. Watch my clips. Watch my clips. Watch I love clips. this song. This is my favorite. This might be one of my favorite moments on the internet. You absolute buffoon. What you have there is not clips. These, These are mags. Are mags. The same way that this, this is not is a clip. Also it's a mag. A mag. Now, if you you look like an absolute buffoon. You you look fucking dumb here. Just him casually pulling out a this <laughs> rifle. Just so casually. The flex is insane. Is also... Mag. Now, if you remember correctly, he actually wanted to physically fight Critical because he calls out all these soy boys on the internet. Dude, my favorite thing is when he says, You call me out for being a pathetic beta cuck loser? And you're not even willing to fight me IRL? And then anyone that's willing to fight him IRL just gets ghosted. And he's a big strong man who actually fights, right? But are you really gonna sit, sit here and not call yourself a beta male? You can genuinely- Ironic, isn't it? look in the mirror and not think that you're anything but a beta male soy boy so watching him take l's is the new porn that in mind for the rest of this video so recently he decided to pick on and, and his girlfriend gets to win twice every single time because she gets to have sex which is a sneeko l so sneeko's girlfriend is literally living the dream a quote-unquote nerd named mikey musamichi and uh, let's just say he isn't your average nerd. Oh no! <laughs> Dude, look at, he's like, oh, look at this guy. He's just some nerd in glasses. Jiu-Jitsu world champion, by the way. An Aoki lock, it's a modified heel hook, but- Jiu-Jitsu is for autistic people. What? <laughs> Jiu <-jitsu>. what? <laughs> Jiu-Jitsu is for autistic people. Have you seen your content, my guy? I think a master of Jiu-Jitsu is, is somebody that inspires another generation. Jiu-Jitsu, I swear, this is why I like striking. This is so... And this is a competition where you just... It's an art, and it's an art form, but I learned from the master. He looks like Mark Zuckerberg. He shouldn't be winning. So that... But he is! What does that say about you, sir? It's like a master to student. He's an idol of mine <laughs> for being... For it's like a master to the student. Um, actually, this is a leg heel lock. He's saying he would make me tap. He probably would. 
He probably would. Now, unfortunately... <laughs> Isn't that hilarious, dude? It's amazing. This guy goes out talking about people being beta male loser cucks. How do you even... How do you even look into the into the mirror because you're such a beta male soy loser cuck? Unlike me, who would lose a fight to the people I call out and then call out people that are half a foot shorter than me to fight me. Man, I, I talk a lot of shit probably because I get back it up with facts. So, this nerd is actually Mikey Musumichi, who is the four-time world jujitsu champion champion so bro eat your fucking ass so this is just uh an amazing person to pick on over here and and he's actually really mad at sneeko we'll take well as he should be i mean sneeko's a self-admitted fan of cuties which is a sexual movie about children take a look at his response later in the video but for now all you need to know is that mikey could absolutely wipe the floor with this guy oh with dude it would not be an it would not be a competition at all sneeko always says you're gonna be an inter warrior twitter beta male cuck you're just gonna say things on the internet when you're not willing to back it up and here he is talking shit against some guy that would turn he would make sneeko look like a fleshlight after it was used within 10 seconds nico would be begging for his goddamn life now what you guys also don't know is that sneeko is also a world champion in being a fucking dumbass keyboard <laughs> yeah. also extremely classy move making fun of his speech patterns and just the, the way he looks as well that's getting amazing dude apparently sneeko just never grew out of the high school middle school phase where you make fun of people for things they can't really control about themselves True. like their appearance. see i make fun of sneeko for defending cuties i I make fun of him for being a hypocrite. See, all these things are under his control. I'm not gonna make fun of him for looking like a troll because that, listen, I'd say his looks are, he, he's not like a good looking guy, but that's still one of his best qualities. <laughs> and their speech patterns. Mikey Musumichi is a revolutionary grappler. The reigning one flyweight submission grappling world champion began training Brazilian jiu-jitsu at age four and entered one as a five-time IBJJF Fuck, gold man. medalist. See, here's the thing. If someone else would make fun of this guy, but that, but he would not care about the whole making fun Twitter warrior bullshit online, that would be one thing. That would be lame, I guess, for one reason. But Making fun of him when your entire brand is making fun of keyboard warriors and making fun of people that are not willing to fight in real life. If that's your brand and you're gonna go make fun of this guy, it just makes you look like such a pathetic loser. That That's definitely somebody I would not wanna mess with. Only, only Sneeko would attempt to call a fucking five, four time world champion, whatever the hell, a, a nerd dude what the hell is actually wrong with you it's like he's a he's a masochist he just wants to get his ass beat and i just don't know where he draws these sort of weird correlations like jujitsu is for autistic people like what kind of, like is that an don't worry he'll uh he'll defend his take uh in the ring probably what the fuck even is that like it's not even a funny joke it's a it's a fighting sport what do you mean it's for autistic can't spell jujitsu without jews that's why sneeko hates him yo that's crazy Everything makes sense. It all comes together. Bro hears the word jujitsu and this is what he sees in his head. Oh, fuck. What? I, I'm just trying to understand, like, how did he connect those dots? What the fuck is wrong with you? Listen, I don't watch Sneeko now, so I don't know, like, what kind of content he makes now, but... Common Pegasus, uh, W. Is this really just it? Just making fun of random people and thinking you're, like, better than them somehow? Does this stream actually enjoy this? Those people who enjoy watching Sneeko act like a complete buffoon on the internet? Is that is that the entertainment he provides? Just being a complete moron. Now before my favorite part was when Sneeko took out a gun and then said, "I have L Riz Skibbity Toilet." That was my favorite Sneeko clip I've seen. Before we check out a co couple of responses, they go back and forth a bunch of times. I just wanted to show you this clip of Mikey on the Joe Rogan podcast because he's just a, such a wholesome guy. Another thing that's really unusual about you is your diet. Yes. <laughs> you're famous. You're famous for eating pasta and homemade pizza. Let's I make go, pizza dude. and pasta every night. Night. I have a pizza oven in my house and I roll out the dough, make everything. Dude, that, this is awesome. Bro, what a cute guy, honestly. You're gonna pick on this guy? <sighs> Not only is he wholesome, but he can also kick your ass. <laughs> and then uh, for dessert, I'll eat a pint of acai. Dude, this guy is freaking awesome. He's like a positive, optimistic. He's like a, he's got that childlike feel and he lo hasn't lost it as an adult as well. That's freaking awesome, dude. I don't know why you would actually watch this and sort of make fun of the guy. I feel like you're a sad person for that. Okay, so here's Mikey's response to the whole situation. Let's just say I, I would not want to be sneaker right now. <laughs> oh, oh, oh God, he's picked a fight with this guy. He he didn't think that he would actually see it. Oh, Lord. Today, I'm going to talk about bullies. 
Bullies are weak people that make fun of others around them, that give themselves relevance, and that make themselves feel good. And just spit facts. They pick on the differences of humans, which is the most beautiful part of humans, their uniquenessness. I really don't like bullies, guys. And there's this guy named Sneeko making fun of me, making fun of my friend, making fun of jiu-jitsu. He calls himself a boxer. I'm a jiu-jitsu guy. Let's have an MMA fight. I challenge Sneeko to an MMA fight. <laughs> I saw the Sneeko clip, and I did not know he got hit back with such heat. Oh, Lord. Bro. Dude, man was shitting on the toilet all night after seeing this clip. Holy frick. It's like, oh, th this guy that you're calling an autistic jujitsu fighter, it, it would absolutely annihilate you. He would do a heel lock up your asshole. I'm going to shut his mouth, and I'm going to take the bully's lunch money. Holy freaking sh**, dude. Wow! A world champion, like a four-time world champion fighter, sent me a personal message saying he's gonna beat my ass and take my lunch money. I would, I would move to Mars, bro. I'd be, I'd be slaughtering That's crazy. on cock asking him for a one- And I love that he didn't actually, he didn't insult him. Bro, he, on, dude, this, this Musumichi guy is such a freaking legend. He could have just, bro, could have gone up there and he could have made fun of him for everything. All of his past loser tendencies. He could have said, dude, you would do this to me? You suck for these 12 reasons but he didn't he just challenged him to a fight way ticket to jupiter dude this is crazy i don't know sneeko really picks like the worst fights ever first he picks on moist critical like one of the most loved people <laughs> in the commentary community. honestly true what a loser what are you thinking people are gonna like be he's not even smart and he makes believe he's like this intellectual guy be on his side well having stuff like he's openly a cuck and supports cuties out on the internet like there's so many skeletons in your closet buddy clean them up first jesus christ now here's a quick comparison of sneeko fights Fighting versus Mikey. Oh God, I've seen this clip of Sneeko fighting. It's it's embarrassingly sad. Fighting. The guy, look at this guy. He's just like whistling. Sneeko can't even get him to breathe heavily. Yo, the disrespect. Oh Lord. Oh, oh, look, look at this little egg-headed loser getting donked around. It's beautiful. Oh. Well, that is a different league, brother. Oh my God. I beat someone 200 kilos. So I don't think there's anyone bigger than that size. Oh my God, dude. Look at this. And he's on the ground with him grappling. Now this and he won! The guy was three times his size! As like 60 killers or something, there's obviously weight divisions in, in jujitsu and stuff like that. But I've actually seen him take down like legitimately big people like four times his weight. Or and that guy's trained too! Let me remind you, unlike Sneeko. Something. So this guy's an absolute monster, dude. I, I just would not mess with him. Sneeko would not stand a chance. He'd have the exact same fate as his girlfriend and get fucked by... <laughs> another man now sneeko's damn son damn son you can't not mention the cuck stuff with sneeko because he's just he asks for it every time response to this whole thing was haha i'm joking lol you're an autistic nerd but i was joking lol lol you're ugly but i'm joking lol i challenge good good sneeko response i i see that sneeko to an mma fight i'm gonna shut his mouth and i'm gonna take the bully's lunch money i make jokes i'm a streamer i joke about everybody me chat everything all day every day what i said in that video you're upset about you would make me tap in Br brazilian jiu-jitsu you would win in mma even with striking you would go this is what you would do grab my heel and do the same shit you did to your master dude you are shitting your pants right now it is very brave of you to sit there in your own shit on stream uh, i have nothing but respect for the way that you are presenting yourself despite the fact that the, your underwear are sodden with shit and piss but that said and done you call people on the internet out all day for just sitting on the internet and not putting your money where your mouth is and not actually getting into a fight why are you so scared that you're getting backlash you make fun of him he makes fun of you and suddenly you have the moral high ground i was i was looking at this and reading through the comments like is everybody pranking me 
Is everybody in on some sort of joke? The first prank was uh, when your mother decided not to get an abortion. Oh, surprise, surprise. Nico's actually a pussy. He only wants to fight people who are smaller than him or have no fighting experience at all. And when somebody actually- The man challenges Charlie to a fight. He, and his whole thing was Charlie made fun- He, he says, he instigates. Then Charlie makes fun of him. And this guy says that Charlie's a bitch because he won't actually challenge him to a fight. You know, Charlie is five foot five. And he's challenging Charlie to a fight. Meanwhile, this guy ducks everyone that actually is willing to fight him. <laughs> it's ironic. This this man, he's a walking joke. I, I don't think anyone could take him seriously at all. Actually challenges him to a fight like Brandon Buckingham. He runs away. And uh, he, he's perfectly fine making fun of people on the internet like this. But the second he's actually confronted and put, asked to put his money where his mouth is, it's a joke, guys. I don't really care. Like, you're <laughs> such a fucking loser, dude. Uh, oh, my God. It's, okay. be it's beautiful. I love it so much. And he he struts around the ultimate alpha male giga chad <laughs> oh god it's hilarious he's, he's um listen i have to say something simple and i, I don't want to i don't want it to go too crazy here but he's cosplaying as a pussy and he's doing a really good job of course mikey's gonna be mad you just made fun of his entire sport and his entire life work saying that jujitsu is for autistic people called him a nerd and made fun of him like he's a fighter of course he's gonna challenge you to a fight and he knows that you're you're a type of person who challenges people to the fight on the internet so he's kind of responded that way you know now shiko responded again i really want to get better at fighting because oh my god he, he did not make two responses so again i want to reiterate i'm going to be saying this throughout the stream um mikey musa messi i accept your offer at least pr pronounce his name right <laughs> accept your offer let's see if that happens i'm not going to take any money uh we don't need to do that at all uh because you're a world champion and i am a complete beginner and i have no idea how to do mma i don't um i've boxed a couple times i've sparred but i'm not a I'm not a professional fighter like you are. Dude's shaking. Oh, man. Dude, you really want to get your car all, all messy like that, dude? Dude, can you imagine the person that needs to clean all the shit out of this car? So I think to make it fair, under one condition. Uh, under condition, you must uh, first get a lobotomy, and then, then it'll be a great fight. Now, I'm just a beginner guy. I'm not going to ask for a handicap. I'm just asking to have a conversation with your sparring partner, Mark Zuckerberg. I think that's how this all started. You said I was bullying you because I said you look like him. Is this supposed to be comedy? To your Instagram, you spar with him. You train your buddies, your pals with Mark Zuckerberg. Not smart. Is this supposed to be an own? The fact that this guy knows Mark Zuckerberg? <laughs> what? You let me have a conversation with Mark Zuckerberg about Zionism, friendly. Whoa, <laughs> I told you. that he's actually bringing this up right now i i said this earlier as a joke literally in the stream is he literally trying to clout gobble somewhere else just asking some questions because freedom of speech is important elon Musk proved it with twitter how important freedom of speech is. freedom of speech is important so is the ability to not need to talk to idiots even joe rogan was talking about me on his last podcast joe rogan i'm not a bully you need to look at the context all i said was joe rogan was talking about me is this like is he puffing his chest out trying to look all clouded up because joe rogan was talking about him joe rogan was literally making fun of you for being a bitch mikey looks like mark zuckerberg and he does mark zuckerberg went on your podcast let mark zuckerberg come on mine yes nico i'm sure you have revolutionary nice. ideas for mark zuckerberg yes you're gonna make mark zuckerberg uh, rethink everything about zionism you sneeko are gonna do that that nobody ever has thought of before such a fucking weirdo dude just 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 admit you're a cucko the great and don't want to fight him, all right? Jesus Christ. So here we have Mikey responding once again. All right, so obviously Sneeko doesn't want to fight me. Adding in all these stupid stipulations he knows will never happen. Typical bully. They talk and they talk beyond the safety of their screen. Dude, this guy, this guy gives like Rock Lee vibes from Naruto. I, I would not want to mess with this guy. Like, I, I feel like Rock Lee is about to annihilate me when he talks. It's like, you know, it's that that funny cadence that he has, but he could absolutely destroy you. In the bathroom, recklessly, and they never face consequences. There's so many people out there like him. My goal here was to stand up to a bully. Kids, get yourself into Muay Thai or Jiu Jitsu so you can learn self-defense and you don't have to deal with idiots like Sneeko. What can I say? He's a wholesome Damn. guy. That's a good message for the kids. Anyways, in conclusion, Sneeko's a massive loser, and he should stop picking on people, because he can't back it up. Anyways, that's it. I'll I love how the moral to this entire story is there is no moral to the story. Don't be like Sneeko. Sneeko has a lot of character traits, and you should learn about all of them, so you could not have any of those character traits at all. Damn! That was a good video. I, I like Pegasus. I like the way he covers things. Uh...
he's a friend of mine and you should check him out. Uh, I actually like his second channel more Pegasus even better than his real main channel, but thank you all so much for being here. Hope I wasn't too mean to Sneeko. He's one of the people that I don't mind just unapologetically shitting on just because of his rich, rich history of shitting on people. Uh, I feel like anyone that dishes it out should be willing to take it and um, Sneeko seems to not be super willing to take it. Anyway, uh, I'm going to end the stream now because I um, Sneeko's girlfriend is in the other room and I'm going to go keep her company. Like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch. Stay weird, fam. Thank <laughs> you.